What's up guys? It's Trace Face. I'm in the middle of some appointments today and uh, I wanted to get this video out to everyone. Uh, uh, I had a lot of questions concerning this topic and it's time to do a video on it. Um, so today's video topic is going, going to be uh, the narcissist and their stinking rotten triangulation game that they play. All right, and don't forget guys, coming onto my channel, liking, subscribing, hitting that bell icon to the right so that you get uh, the, the times that I put out a video and when I go live. This is all gonna help to shut down the narcissist operation. They're getting very upset, those narcissists, that the information is, is, is getting out there. They're, they don't like it. Um, but we gotta keep doing our due diligence, right? Uh, it's a good sign that they don't like it. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I was very in shock by how far that the video I did on um, narcissism and hygiene and other strange behaviors, uh, that video went, that video uh, brought in a thousand subscribers in like three or four days. It was crazy. So thank you very much for those of you that had shared it and that liked it and uh, had something to say in regards to your narcs in your life that, uh, that had these same kind of ridiculous behaviors. So today I want to talk to you guys about triangulation, all right, and how the narcissist uses this this little game that's very stinking and rotten, and how um, they they like to do this to to people in their lives and how they do it. <clears throat> so you're gonna find uh, narcissists will play these triangulation games in the workplace. They'll play it at home. Uh, they play it with pretty much anybody and everyone in their life that they can get to play this game with. And what they are trying to do is they are trying to pit people against one another in their lives. Uh, there are narcissistic bosses out there that literally thrive on this type of behavior. They need this kind of chaos within the office environment or wherever they're working to ensue so it keeps the, the uh, drama and the chaos going for the narc employer. And so, uh, so narc employer is gonna is always going to try and come over to you, and talk crap about so and so that you work you might be an equal with, uh, perhaps in like a senior management role. They're gonna come talk crap up to you about that person, and the minute you leave the room, they're going over and they're talking crap to that person about you, and they are doing this all day long with with people in the office, and they're sitting back, they're sitting back and watching the drama unfold and they get off on this right and they they need this they need this to survive in 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 life uh the narcissistic partner all right notorious for this kind of stuff they are going to go to work and tell people that you are a monster that they're living with that you do a b c d e f g every day and that it's really bad and that they uh you know they don't know what to do so they're going to start playing this victim role the victim mentality because you have caught on to them and they know it and they're afraid you're going around and doing the same things and talking to other people about the horrific things they did to you so they have to cover their tracks and the way that they do that is they go and they talk to other people trying to play the victim role they're always believing that they're the victim all right no matter what it is you have the proof right in front of their face you know you got it on paper you're showing that they did this that and the other thing they're still sitting there coming up with the lies and excuses and running around telling people you're the crazy one all right this is what they do and they know how to do it so so well then they'll come home and you know you'll be asking how come you've been hanging out with this girl quite often in the office Oh, you're going on lunch dates together. You're doing this, that, the other thing together with her, and you're not, you're not telling me, or you're just, you're. Let me put it this way: you're hiding that from me. I have to come out and ask you because I see them uh, bombing up your Facebook page, and they will sit there and be like, "Oh, she's fat. She's really annoying. She's got bad breath," you know. And this is what they do, and they they think that you're gonna believe this so that you don't have anything to worry about. But what they are doing is they're sitting back knowing that the both of you are starting to get nervous about one another. She's thinking that she's going to have something going on with him. And you're thinking something's going on with him. And he likes all of this. The female narcissist, they're notorious, notorious for this. All right, I just spoke with a client last night. They're notorious for hoovering the, the, the male back into their little spider web. You know, they're, they're the black widow, these things. And they get the, they they let you go, and then they reel you back in. 
How dare you forget about me? I'll hoover you three years later and tell you let's get married. And, and I'll tell you everything you want to hear. I'll sit there and I'll tell you I, how much I loved you, how much I thought about you, how much you were everything to me. I screwed up. I'm the one that messed up. And all they're doing, guys, is they're playing this try. They're, they're, getting a, they're playing a game with you. And it might be the first time they've hoovered you. You're out on a date with them. You're all excited. Oh, my God, they realized it's me. It's me. And then you'll look over and they'll be on their phone and they'll be doing this all night. Knowing it's upsetting you, knowing you're good, you're about to ask, who's that? Why are you, you know, this is what they do so that they get you going. They get you to ask the questions. They sit back and kick up their feet on their recliner at night and go, ha, ah, ah, I love this. <laughs> it's so sick, guys, but that's what they're doing. Talking to a client last night, this is what, this is what this, this broad did to him. And got them all worked up again. What she was doing was just trying to see if he's still interested. That's all they do when they come around and sniff around in Hoover. They just want to see that they could still get you back. That's the game. And as soon as she knew that, she, she ghosted him. Couldn't contact, couldn't find her. She blocked him off of everything. No, no explanation, no nothing. Two weeks later, she just texts one simple... Two simple words, I'm engaged. <laughs> you know, and I'm, and I'm laughing. I, I laugh now about this stuff because these people are clowns, and I want you guys to see them that way. You know, that's why I put up videos about things that they do that, you know, if you weren't under these spells, which I believe that we are under a spell when we are with these people because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense why strong people like myself and you out there would even tolerate such baloney why it's like here's our line in the sand and they get you to keep going over it and over it and over it and over it and next thing you know you turn around and this is not you this isn't anything that you would stand for all right so so the triangulation game is one of their favorite games to play they'll triangulate you with your with your own children they will pit you against your own children and your children against you. They'll, they'll pit people against themselves. I mean, they play triangulation games with themselves. They have got to create drama, constant drama, constant chaos going on. I said it before, the minute that they have any sort of... Uh, healthy you know feelings or or some sort sense of balance or some sense of uh you know uh harmony in their life they hate it they don't want anything to do with it that scares the living daylights out of them they got to go and create something let me go and get this person going with my games and shenanigans let me go and talk to mommy and daddy about about you so that they think that you're a bad person let me go get my kid involved and triangulate the kid against you so I can sit there and watch the kid start to hate you. You know, you you guys, if you have kids involved with your narcissist, you know, you you've got to show your you got to show these kids love and you got to show the kids consistency because the narcissist is not going to show the child consistency. That's the one thing that they are really going to screw up with. And in time, the child's going to see that as they get older. The narc is not consistent with anything. They'll make a promise to pick up that child at a certain time. They won't be there. They're not going to be there. All right, and they're going to keep doing things like this. And they will reveal themselves in time. Don't you worry about that. The narcissist will reveal themselves in time. They always do. They always have. They always will. All right. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments in regards to the lovely triangulation game. Uh, how the narcissist does it. How the nar narcissist totally manipulates people into believing them. They're very, very good actors. My God, they deserve the, all the awards Hollywood has to present to them. That's what they should have went off and been is an actor. Because that's all they are. That's all they're ever going to be in life. Playing games, acting, being clowns. I'm Trace Face. Tell me what you think in the comments. It's time we all face the truth together.